Hello, hello everyone and happy Friday. I have not done a live hangout in a few weeks, so I figured I would go live. I drove over to Daytona Beach today, which is about two and a half hours from me, to pick up a big Disney haul. Not, not big in amount of items, but big dollar-wise. So along the way, of course, I saw yard sale signs and I had to stop and I found some really, really cool stuff at the yard sales as well. So I am going to show you guys what I got from the Disney haul, which I did spend $3,000 and on 21 pieces. So all of these are higher end. The lowest is a hundred dollar piece. The highest is a $2,000 piece. So I'm going to show you everything that I got as far as the Disney. Plus, I'm going to mix in some yard sale finds. I'm going to try and show you everything that I got today. I did not come close to filling up my car. And I spent about $100 at the three yard sales altogether. So I spent 60 at one, 12 at another, and 20 at another. So, yeah. So, I'm just going to kind of go. I have this stuff, like, all around me, <laughs> which is typically how I do these hauls, and it's like a hot mess. So, hi to everyone. I appreciate you guys coming and hanging out with me, for sure. And all of this stuff is for sale. I don't know if I have any, like, diehard Disney fans that will want these pieces. These are pretty rare pieces. I would say the majority of them, there are none listed, and I have the only one. But um, if you are interested, tell me, and I will do a discount off of what I am going to price it for on eBay, just in case you are interested in the Disney pieces. And the garage sale pieces um, are also going to be for sale. So I see Rocky Mountain Resale. Thank you for coming in. I appreciate you and Chris and Duncan and Richard was in here first per usual. So let's go ahead and start. I'm not going in any particular order. This, I am gonna try and tell you guys what I paid for them so that you know, and I will tell you guys, so I'll show you this one first and then I'll talk about what I did as far as research. Hi, Gwenna. So this is the first one. This this is a Roger Rabbit snow globe. You can see Jessica there along with Roger Rabbit. And this one I paid $90 for, and this one should sell for about 400 Now, some of these, the music works. Some of them, the music does not work. All right, StreamYard is being wonky. Yeah, it's it's not me. It's StreamYard. Um, hold on, I'm gonna try and switch to my phone really quick. Let's see if that fixes it. Let's see if that will fix it. Really quick before I start talking more. Let's see. Well. I don't see my phone Wi-Fi on my computer. There it is. All right, I'm gonna disappear for one second, but I'll be right back. So, should be good now that I'm on my phone, but it's StreamYard still showing a really low internet, which is like, the actual stream yard, not my phone. So the Roger Rabbit, um, I paid close to 100. It should sell for 400. I will tell you on these 21 items for one, I bid on over 80. So if I had won everything, I would have been over a $10,000 bill, but I knew I was not going to. So I ended up winning 21 of them. I probably spent about eight hours researching these items. I spent a lot of time. 
um, researching. So I should make between four and five thousand dollars in profit. I know that's a big gap, but it really depends on what offers I might take. Like I'm still good with four thousand dollars. So next I'm going to show you this is from one of the yard sales. This is Elizabeth Countess of Derby. And it says it was painted by George Romney and engraved by John Dean. And on the back, it says it was published in 1902. So this is a really cool old brass photo frame. This one I expect probably $35 to $40. And again, if you guys want prices, just tell me. Um, it was a high bid auction. It was a it was a high bid in Daytona Beach, Florida. And yeah. It is the same auction company where I got my Capa di Monte piece that sold for $3,000. Same one. And then this is another yard sale find. Check out this old, this one is Niagara Falls, and that says Horseshoe Fall Prospect Point. This is really, really cool. American Fall from Goat Island. This one is, trying to turn it the right way, Victoria, Austria. And this one I paid $2 for. Uh, the Disney is all off high bid. The rest of this, except for a couple that I found buried in my car, are from yard sales. So this, if you guys don't know Halls, this is Halls. Superior quality. This is a really good brand to keep an eye out for. The, the, um, the pattern is Rose Parade. And there's the pattern. And this one was only a dollar. And then, let's see. I can do some Disney. If you guys want to see the Disney, I'll do a few Disney pieces for you here. I got to unbury them. Hold on. I'm going to show you this bowl. Let me show you this bowl first. Oh! All right. This is a really cool art glass bowl I paid about $10 for. It's really, really cool. It's like a purple. It's hard to see. And there's the bottom of that. Nothing else is buried. I actually got everything out, Duncan. I even double checked. Um, all right, Disney stuff. And I want to tell you guys too, as high as I paid for this stuff and as high as it's going to sell, sell for, it is all made in China. So do not think that made in China means it's not worth anything. All right. This one, hold on, I got I to gotta pull up my info so I can tell you guys how much I paid for stuff. This piece I paid $55 for, and it should sell for about $130. This is The Incredibles, and it's really cool. It's called Five Against One. This brand is Harmony Kingdom. There's the bottom. Five against one. This is a limited edition of 500 pieces. And the cool thing about all these Harmony pieces, which is what I'm getting ready to show you, they all have a hidden treasure inside. So look, <laughs> baby Jack is inside. So it's really, really cool little piece. And again, this one should go for like 130 um, I think most snow globes, Greg, come from um, the Disney store. Now, this one, let's see. I have to keep clicking to see how much I paid for stuff. So this one, I, I only paid $22.50. And the prices I'm telling you are without the auction fees, which were 12%. So this one should, this one's actually the lowest dollar one. And this one is really, really cute. Look at this. It's the Jungle Book. And the name of this one is actually just the Jungle Book. It's from 2002. Really, really cute. There's the back. And this is another Harmony Kingdom. So it has a hidden surprise of a banana inside. Really, really cute. So this is the lowest selling one. Hello, front porch picker. Hi, Harry. And then there is a Bambi. 
and then I'm going to shock you. I'm going to show you guys all the rest, and then I'm going to shock you with the smallest piece that is worth quite a bit of money. It's not, it's not the highest piece. So this one here, I paid 85 for. This one should sell for about 200. Um, they are ceramic, Renee. And 12% is good. So lately, actually October 1st, Hybrid raised their fees for auctioneers. So they charge them quite a hefty fee. And honestly, probably over 50% of the auctions I look at now have a 25% buyer premium. So 12% is a very, very good premium. Hello, Diane from Australia. Thank you for being here. So this one paid 85 should sell for 200. I absolutely love Bambi. He has the little butterfly on him and his hidden one is flowers. Um, the haul piece I have not researched, Diana, probably like 10 to $15. Not a lot, not a lot. All right. Next is a Finding Nemo piece, which is one of my favorite movies. So this one, I paid 64 and this one should sell for about $200. And I absolutely, again, love Nemo. Dory is upside down there. And the anemone. This is another Harmony Kingdom. And look inside. The little jelly is inside of this one, which is really, really cute. And again, most of these, like this one, is a limited edition of 500. There is that. Aw, thank you, Mary. Mary sent me a $4.99 super chat. I'm going to give you a dolphin. If I can find it. <laughs> Super chat. All right. Next is a small one. This is not the one that I think will surprise you. This one I paid right under 54 and it should sell for 150. 150. This is called the mini moods of thumper like how cute is this how cute i'm gonna have to be my own moderator here i grabbed that one <laughs> yes so inside of this one is a carrot really cute Really, really cute. 25% is high. You just have to figure it into your buy cost and make sure it's still worth it and there's still enough profit to make profit. I don't, Pam, I don't know how they decide what they hide inside of these. So I'm going to have you guys guess. I'm going to have you guess on how much I paid and how much it will sell for. So I want to see if anybody can get this. So let me refresh my mind. Okay. All right. Do you see how teeny weeny this is? This is the mice from Cinderella. So I want you guys to tell me. And you see how tiny. And this one is Walt Disney Collection Mice and Sewing Basket. Do not go cheat and look it up. How much do you think that I paid for this? And how much do you think this tiny little thing will sell for? Waiting to see. Tiny little piece. Kathy is close. Kathy is over on Facebook. Well, not close to what I paid. I paid a lot. Um, so I paid $160 for this little bitty piece, $160, and it should sell for $400. A lot of you are guessing $450. So I paid $160, and it will sell for $400, and it is teeny weeny, and it has a lot of comps at $400. It will sell for $400. So do not think little things are not going to sell for big money because they do. 
Again, this one is Walt Disney Classics Collection. So that is a good one. All right, that's a really, really good one. Now, let's see, I'm gonna show you a garage sale item. If you've been watching me, you will know this pattern. You will know this pattern. Thumper is, let me see. Let me see what number he is. I have his number. Thumper, if I list Thumper on eBay, I will list him for 150. If any if you want Thumper, I would sell him for 120. This is old country roses. This is one of the most popular china patterns there is. Here is your mark. You will see it when you find them. This one is from 1962. I paid a dollar. This is not a big ticket item. Now, the teapots in this pattern sell for over 200. This piece I paid a dollar and it will sell for about 15 to 20. So, not a whole ton. Not a whole ton. Old Country Roses is very, very, very popular. All right. There's one more Disney item that's on my desk to the left. Let's see if I can get it out. And this is really, really cute. Let me look up what I paid for it so I know. All right. This one is a cute one. And this was, I think, Dalton's favorite one. So this one I paid $50 for. Look at them on the swings. And they do rotate. I undid the cord because I don't want to try and lift it up with the cord. But you've got Mickey and Minnie on the swing. And this does go round and round. Dalton said, hey, is that mine, Mom? With Goofy. So this one, again, I paid, where did it go? I paid 50 and it should sell for about 200. And this one is Department 56, guys. This is a Department 56 Disney. So you've got two brands here. Um, you've got Department 56 as well as Disney. It's super duper cute. All right. Some of these I'm going to have to take out of the box because they did come with the original box and styrofoam. Let's see. Okay. Let's do some more yard sale. Well, this is not yard sale. This is an old high bid. This was hidden in my car. This vase, I paid about $10. Check out the gold flex in this. This is an absolutely gorgeous piece. This one I paid 10. I will probably list it at 75 to 80. Really, really, really nice piece. They are out tonight, aren't they? Out tonight. Okay. Let's, what are we doing? Hold on. I'm going to set this on the ground. It does look like tiger's eye. Now, I'm going to grab this. There's not much in this bag. I have had these before and sold them. These are from Blockbuster. They were like little giveaways, and they have this little thing in you. And Santa goes around and around. Mine too, Jennifer. Mine too. It wasn't hidden. It was on the front seat. The vase is not branded. And then this one is Snoopy, Charlie Brown, and Lucy. And same thing. They dance around the Christmas tree. These sell for about $15. They are vintage from 1999. And then I got these. And you guys know I love linens. I got these vintage Christmas towels. I only paid a dollar for all of them. But they're really... I like the ones with the little ribbon not ribbon what do you call that ruffles ruffles okay let's see i turned the heat on and now i'm hot um i don't know what to call this maybe one of you will but i thought this was absolutely amazing i paid three dollars it's a candlestick holder but look at the raised paint on that like, how cool is that? But I don't know what you call it. 
but they're it's in perfect condition and i figured three dollars was not too shabby doreen i might take you up on that and add you i know we've got a few um Doreen, I have just added you because it seems like they are heavy out tonight. So we'll take the help. Um, so yeah, I don't, I mean, it's definitely a chamber stick, but I don't know what you call it. It's not cloisonne. It's not, it's definitely not cloisonne. Mori, may, maybe Moriagi. I think that's how George said you say it, Moriagi. All right, hold on. I'm going to try and move some more stuff to the ground because I need room on my desk. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Let's do another Disney piece. It doesn't, it's completely white, Mitzi, on the bottom. Completely white. Let's see what I paid for this one. Do, 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 do. This is the Evil Queen from Snow White. I paid $200 for her. And unfortunately, she is broke. And it was not disclosed and I did not know. But that is part of buying on auctions. I still think I can get a good price for her. She is absolutely Satsuma. Okay. The cloisonne, the colors are separated by wire. So that is like a raised paint. There's no wire on that at all. Hi, Can Man. So if you guys see her crown, luckily it's not a bad makeup mess up, but her crown was re-glued and not re-glued very well, unfortunately. Just the crown was fixed. You can barely see a line there, but she's an absolutely amazing piece. Nothing else, just that tip of the crown broke off. And then she is Disney Villains, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs from WDCC. Yeah, it's pretty minor. It is pretty minor. So I'm, I mean, that's a chance you take on auction. Um, they were really good about disclosing other stuff. So I think it was a honest oversight because it's not overly noticeable and it's a very, very pretty piece. Okay. Let's see. Whoa. This one is not that interesting to look at, but this one, let me look it up. So this is a Christmas tree. Let me see what I paid for it. Doo, doo, doo. This one I paid $110. And what this one is, is this is the Christmas tree from A Lady in the Tramp. Um, Walt Disney collection piece. But I don't have Tramp. But it still looks like it should go for about $400 for this Christmas tree. Um, I could have Sandy if I noticed it when I was there, but I'm I'm okay with it. So this is a really cool piece. Again, this one's another Walt Disney Classic Collection. And one of these candles comes off. And I'll have to fix it. And that's okay. And there it went. It went a-flying. I need to put it where I won't. Let me put it back on the tree. And it's just coming out of the hole, so I don't think it'll, like, be a noticeable repair. I'm trying to put it back. It doesn't want to go back. Okay, I'm going to put it in my coffee cup. So if I ask you guys where I put it, you know. All right. If you guys like linen, I got some amazing linens today at the shard sale. So... These, again, are all for sale. The Queen, I would probably do $300, um, Andrea. I paid $225. Um, if I list her, she I will list her for four, $400 and try and get it. Okay, are we ready? This one... 
Look at this hanky. Banff, Canada. And it does still have the original sticker. Come on. I got these for 10 cents each. I was expecting her to say a dollar, and I would have paid a dollar, but I got them for 10 cents. So that's number one. Let me start a pile. This one has some stains, but this is still absolutely amazing and dainty. There is that one. There are some cool ones. Look at this one. This one is really pretty. And they were all, hey, Jeremy, they were all 10 cents. Really, really pretty. I just kept piling them. And I almost grabbed them all. And I'm like, no, cat, you don't need them all. Just get the ones that you like. So here's another really dainty, really pretty one with the blue flowers. Uh, Chris, I don't, I don't research these. I just price them according to, like, this one I would probably do for, like, 15 but this one that's a little bit fancier, I would probably do for 20. I don't, I don't research the linens at all unless they're a name brand. Now, these are absolutely amazing. These I paid a dollar each for. I've never seen anything like this. Um, Carla, for the hankies, $10 for any of them that you want. Now, these I paid a dollar for. Look at these. Whoa. These are amazing. So this is a placemat, but look what it has. It has a napkin that matches it that goes in this little pocket. Look at it. I think they're using them more for decor, Greg. Look at this. Like how awesome. And I have a set of these. These are so cool. How much um, did you sell them for, Kathy? And I got one, two. This is so cool. Three, four. Whoa, all the napkins. And the napkins are like so pressed. Am I frozen to anybody else except for Carla? I have eight of these. $20 a pair. That's awesome. I have eight, so I have four pairs. Four pairs of these linens. Okay. Those are amazing. Okay, I'm going to disappear for a minute because I don't want you to look at my butt because I'm going to turn off the heater because I feel like I'm in a... Whoa, sauna. I should not turn my chair around. Hold on, people. Okay, felt like a sauna in here. It was cold. It is cold outside. If I am frozen, then refresh me. Refresh me. I'm coming back in just a second. All right. Because I'm sweating now. Let's, let's just keep going through the linens. I have a whole pile. This is a table runner. Like, look at how pretty this is. Whoa. Fifty-five. <laughs> it's cold to me. Fifty-five. Fifty-five was cold enough I turned the heat on in the shed. So, there is this table runner. And then, there are more hankies. Look at this one. This is dogwood. So I'm lucky enough I know most of the flowers. The hankies will just go for about 15. I'm not um, really doing them as like a reseller lot. I do these more for like the collectors if they want it from the haul. I do. Hold on, people. Hold on. Hold on. I just don't want to flash you with my butt. There are more. This one is a made in Switzerland.
Uh, the dogwood hanky, I'll probably list for 20. Um, I would list for 20. Yay, Richard made a sale. Okay, there's more. I'm telling you, I was like in hanky heaven here. This one's very dainty and petite with the roses. <laughs> yeah, um, that's cold. For, I don't like under 60. I won't lie. This one says pure linen. And it's a really pretty one. Really, really pretty. There are more. This one says made in Switzerland, all cotton, and has the embroidered flower. No, no, I would not, I, I don't do, it does get to the teens here, do not get me wrong. It does get to the teens. Um, but I don't like it. This one's really dark. And you don't see, I feel like most hankies are like the lighter color. This one's really pretty with the hibiscus flowers. It's like a beige. That one's really, really pretty too. All of these are really nice. And then this one is TT Tiny Cross Stitch. Let me see if I can get it close enough you can see. These are like the tiniest cross stitch. I think this is called micro cross stitch. Like these are so tiny. They are teeny weeny cross stitch. I do very well with hankies from like $15 to $20. Very well. There are those. And then... This one says pure linen cotton decoration, but this one's made in China. So like this is one I would probably list petite point. Thank you, Keeper Finder. And who else told me? Kathy. Who is messaging me? Who is messaging me? It's so funny people message me and they don't know I'm live. And I'm like, oh, I'm live. This, I don't know what this is. I feel, I always list these as like centerpiece pieces. Oh, let me turn it around where you can see what it actually looks like. Um, Some sell fast, Liz, and some do not. And I do, um, Miss Gloria, I do list the hankies individually. I do not lot them up. Do not lot them up. What else do we have? This is another table runner. This one does have some stain. Stain one still will sell, just FYI. I might actually keep this one for my dresser. This looks like it would be the right size for my... Oh, Petty Point. I do charge shipping on the hankies. Um, like $4, I think. Let's see. Now, these are... What brand are these? I know I found a tag. Well, where's the tag? Maybe I found the tag in the other one. I think these are, are spring made and these are king size uh, shams. These should go for about $30. Oh yeah, that's good. That's true, Lorray, to go under lamps and vases. So I got two of these. I'm trying to, I swear I found a brand before I like picked them up. Because I typically wouldn't pick up pillowcases unless um, they're embroidered or branded. I don't know what people do with them, Greg. I really don't. Oh, here's the tag. They are Thomaston per cow, and I comp these, and they sell good. Um, they do, they mail out in a poly mailer. They mail out in a poly mailer. 
I want to say it's like four. Three fifty nine is with our discount, um, and I charge whatever the post office would charge. Oh, this one's pretty. Look at this one. This is another table runner. This one is cross stitch. Easy to list, easy to ship. Yep. Uh, most of them I just sell as is. There's the other half of that. This one's a really pretty one. Let's see. Oh, this one's pretty. What is this? This is a pillowcase cover. This one's really pretty. Really pretty. Hold on. This is another. This is actually a placemat, but I only have one. I don't pick up the crocheted doilies as much. I think that might be what these are that I'm getting ready to show you, though. There are two of them. Look, they're little strawberries. They're so cute. These are really, really cute. It's always full in here. It's always full. I'll move it. I'm going to probably list the Disney stuff in the morning. All right. Are you guys ready? I never thought I would find this. And I don't know how many yards this is. But check out this fabric I got. Look at this. Coca Pellies. And this is a lot of fabric. I don't know if anybody can find it. Um... It says Timeless Treasures 2002. And look at how much fabric it is. I got this for five bucks at the yard sale. Five bucks. It's, I don't know, but it's a lot. It's a lot. Like, look at all of it. The, uh, yeah, the linens were all at the same yard sale. I went to three. But all of the linens, the fabric, and um, I spent 60 at this yard sale. Mary, you have to remind me that. You have to remind me to list them as cottage core. Um, this one, if I sell it to one of you guys, I would probably do 40. Um, I haven't researched it. So if somebody wanted the Cocopelli fabric for 40... I would do it for 40 plus shipping. I see several of you asking. Fertility gods. They're Coca Pelli. I found Coca Pelli pieces, not this fabric, and they were selling the fat quarters for like $11 a fat quarter. I'm not about to cut this up. Not about to cut it up. It will go all as one. They are Coca Pellies. Um, Joan says she's interested in four of the placemats. I would do four for 20 plus shipping if you want them, Joan, with the napkin. So that's about half of what um, she said they sold for. Yeah, I'll if somebody wants this, I'd do $40 on it. I feel like I could get at least 100 yeah, it's a lot. This is a lot of fabric. And then this is, there's a card, David Greenbaum. Now these comps are all over the place. So I paid eight for this. Um, it is, it has his card inside. Okay, Renee is saying she wants to buy the fabric. Um, Sandy. And then Joan is saying she wants four of the, so Renee will buy the, Renee Dodd will buy the fabric for $40 plus shipping, um, the Coca Pelli fabric. And 
Miss Joan Strasser is going to take four of the placemats with the napkins for 20 plus shipping. So Renee and Joan, both of you email me at the nurse flipper at yahoo.com and just tell me what you got and how much. So this is Green Bomb. Some of his pieces sold for over a hundred. And you guys know I'm really good at pricing stuff up. And I think this is a pretty cool piece. And it has his business card and it's signed. So I don't know. I don't know, but I like it. I like it. So I got it. All right. This is the same yard sale. This is a big Wedgwood. So I was thinking trinket box, but when I started looking, it said, um, a powder box because it's big. It's like five inches across. So I paid six. This one should go for about 40. And if you see in their booth, they had it priced at 37. These people that I'm showing you everything from now were antique dealers that I got all of the, um, hankies from. Yeah, this is a really big, nice green one. And this one is marked Wedgwood Made in England. Dusting powder box, TikTok says. All right, this is one of, now we're on to a different yard sale. Oh, wait, no, there's, there's two more from that yard sale. I'll try and keep them together. Okay, Richard, this is cool. Look, it's a cast iron shell that is hinged. I paid only $4. It'll only sell for about 20. But this is heavy. Like this is cast iron. It's super heavy. Super heavy. And it's really cute. Miss Carol, I think you're behind. Um, you probably won't see this for a while. And then, are you ready? I got this wedding vase. And this one is signed. Copa. And I only paid $4. This one will only sell for about $20. It's not a super expensive one, but I like it. All right. Okay, now we're on to another sale. I love these necklaces. I love these necklaces. Look at these. This is a really nice beaded one. Really, really pretty necklace. And then I got two of them. I think I I think I like the other one better. This one has moccasins. I, I haven't seen with moccasins that much. Look at the moccasins. Aren't they cute? Little bitty moccasin beaded necklace. I really like these. And this, are you ready? I feel like somebody's going to want this. Look at this. This was on the thumbnail. Because this is a, absolutely amazing. It's a butterfly ashtray. It's signed, but I cannot make it out. But this is an awesome, awesome piece. Um, I would do 15 on each of the necklaces, Miss Sandy. 15 each on those. But this, yeah, this ashtray is amazing. It does have a small chip on the back of it. Um, Michelle, both of the beaded necklaces, 15 each. Do, 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 do. I have to wait for my chat to catch up. It's like so behind. I'm gonna assume somebody's getting that person. Do, do, do. 
the ashtray I would do for 20 plus shipping. For the ashtray. It's really cool. And like I said, that chip is like, you can see it a tiny bit from the front. Just a tiny bit there. And then the main chip is on the back. But this was actually, I think they were cleaning out the, like somebody's estate. And this was like way up high on the um, shelf. And I was like, what is that? And I missed it the first time I was in the room. And I, I found it the second time. And I absolutely love this. I got this because I like it. I cannot read it. It looks like a USA, Jeremy. You're right. Um, look, see, you can almost make out the US there. Really, really hard to read. And then I can't make out what it says there at the bottom. Okay, I got this because I like it. I don't know if it will comp out or sell well, but I just like it. So, I love this plate. Look at this. It says Cayman Islands with a turtle. And then on the back, it said made specifically made for Kirk Freeport Plaza, Grand Cayman, Copenhagen, Denmark. I guess so, Greg. There is the back of that one. What does the butterfly comp out at on Worth Point, Jeremy? I'm interested to know. And then it uh, you can barely see the USA, Linda. Yeah, so I'll show you guys again. This here, you can make out you uh, actually, if I tilt it the right way, you can make out USA right there. So it does say USA. Does say USA. I love. So Jeremy's saying it's only selling for 17 on worth point. So if anybody wants the butterfly, I would do it for the 17. Yes, I love the turtle too. And that's the only reason I got it because I absolutely love it. Thought it was cool. And then I haven't researched any of these. Yeah, that butterfly is definitely um, mid-century modern fan man. Now, this is cool. Check out this grasshopper. The giant grasshopper. It's a giant grass grasshopper grasshopper it's missing one of its tentacles though okay tina tina carter said she would like the butterfly ashtray for 17 miss sandy sandy guys ozark is um writing down everything it's a cicada it's a big grasshopper okay it's a J jeremy says it's a cicada 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 jeremy says it's a cicada it's a giant cricket. It's really big. Do you see how big it is? So, Tina, email me, the nurse flipper at yahoo.com. Okay. I'm going to show you guys the highest dollar value, and it's actually sitting right here. You've been able to see it the whole time. All right. I got to make sure I can set it back down carefully because it's worth $2,000. So, this is the most expensive item I got. The Little Mermaid. And the music is playing all funky. And I don't know if anybody could fix it. Now it's behaving. I... Paid six hundred dollars for this. Keepers Finder says the cricket goes on the the earth for good luck. So this one will be priced at two thousand dollars. Two thousand dollars. Maybe 
I don't know. I don't know. I will look into it. But, but, so there's one for $1,400 right now, but it has breaks. So cosmetically, this is perfect. It has no chips, no breaks. No chips, no breaks. But it, the music is jacked up. Um, but the one that's listed for $1,400 has breaks and the music's jacked up. So, very, very pretty. Let me turn it around very carefully. There's the back. This is the highest dollar one that I got. And then... From the same yard sale as the turtle and the butterfly. Check this out with the gecko. This is a really cool piece too. Really cool piece. And this one says reproduced from the weathered skeleton of the Chola cactus. Interesting. <laughs> reproduced from the weathered skeleton of the chola cactus this one is ceramic ceramic yes this is an ashtray also pretty cool this was on the same shelf as the um butterfly was in the house there was probably more there that I didn't find, but I was trying to get to my Disney items. Okay. Do, do, do. Okay, let me see how much I paid for this so I could tell y'all. This one, I paid $100, and I think I will get $400 to $450. Are you ready? There's Goofy and Mickey. And this one is called Pirates Pirates. And the cool thing, hold on, I got to take the lids off. This one's Harmony Kingdom, so it has surprises. So let me take the lids off because I want to show you the bottom. So there's treasure hidden in both, but this one is signed. So I'll have to research that a little bit. Limited edition of only 350 made. And this one should go for about $400. Now the pirate's head is missing and I will fix it. I have the pirate's head in a bag. I will fix it. Um, No, Greg, I cannot access the music box. It's in a bag. The head's in a bag. I will fix it. <laughs> I will fix it. I have a couple that I have to repair, and I was aware of that. Um, yeah, sign typically makes stuff worth more. Let me put Mickey and Goofy and Minnie back on their boat. So they did disclose that this was broke. It was very, very clear in the listing, but there are none listed. Mine will be the only one, so I will fix it and list it. So if it, I, if they're the only ones, then I'm not as particular. Like it, it long, I have the pieces I can fix them. They are part of the piece, Greg. They are part of the piece. Now this is another. I love this one. This is probably one of my favorite ones. Are you ready? This is Geppetto's closet. And this is cool. Look. You can open that. That little toy doll. But really, really cool. And this one is a WDCC. This is a Walt Disney Classics collection. Super glue, Jeremy. Yes, Texas lady, there is a Navajo wedding vase on the table. This is one of my favorite pieces. Let me find out how much I paid and what I think this one will sell for so you guys know. This one 
I paid 55 and it'll actually only sell for about 175. So not like a giant profit, but I thought it was so cool. Um, it will not affect the value at all if I have the only one. Now, if I don't have the only one and there is one that is perfect, it's going to affect the value probably 20 to 25% at least. Um, some, Greg, but some of them, which you're going to see, like the ones that are down here in the cardboard, I have quite a few more. Um, they do have their COAs with them but some of these don't, but I will tell you like my $3,000 Kappa Di Monte Disney piece that I sold last month, that did not have a COA with it. Did not have a COA with it. So that was decent. All right, this is the second highest piece that I bought. Let me see what I paid for her. And she was also in the thumbnail. I paid... Almost $500 for her. Almost $500. And she should sell for $1,000. And she is very, very cute. She is Cinderella. Now, some are listed cheaper. I am going to price higher. because I paid up for her. I probably paid more than I should, um, but that's okay. I'll still, I'll still make at least $300 on her, so I'm okay with that. I am okay with that, but she is in perfect condition. She's a very, very beautiful piece. Um, Clearwater Valley Thrift, there's no way to know on these Disney pieces because they are gonna be higher dollar. Um, so, they might, they might not sell fast, but they might. Like my $3,000 Kappa Di Monte sold in less than two weeks. So if somebody's been searching for these, there are none listed and I list them, they should sell fast. Um, Can Man, I'm estimating between four and 5,000 profit on the um, Disney pieces altogether, between four and 5,000. And I spent 3,000. Okay. Where are we back to? Okay, this is from two different yard sales. Check this out. I love this piece. I'm assuming somebody else probably will too. I paid $2, but check this out. Are you ready? Look at the peacock. This is like a rice paper umbrella. This is absolutely amazing. There are still more Disney pieces to come. They're just in the boxes behind me. Parasol. Thank you, Gritty Gret. I could not think of the word parasol. This one is beautiful. I only paid two. Um, for the umbrella, I would like to get 20 for this. I would like to get 20. If I put it on eBay, I'll probably put it for 30 to 40. But I'd like 20 on this. I love the peacock too. Yes, the peacock is amazing. And it's in excellent condition. It really is in great condition. Okay, Lynn. Okay, so there is the parasol. Okay. I don't know why I picked the ones I picked. So <laughs> that's funny. My favorite find says my hub says you stick it in a really big drink. That's funny. All right. So I don't know why I picked these. Um, I picked five of them. They had a big bin and I do have um, GoPro footage from this yard sale. I just don't know when I will get around to editing it, but I believe this is from 1889. Look at that. So, Syracuse, New York, December 25th, 89. And like I said, I believe this is 1889. Bye, Mary. 
and I just love her. I picked five pictures out of a big box. This is one of them. And then this one, I kind of like the case that it's in. It has like a little stand and it's signed on the side. So I liked her. They had a lot of old photos and I picked out five. This one says Nadine Whittington, around three years old. Look at this. So cool. So cool. Two more photos. Check this out. I love these. They're so cool. Look at this one. And then the last of the old photos. Check out the mustache on this guy. I thought the family picture was pretty cool. Um, I don't know how much I'll get. I haven't, I haven't researched them. I wouldn't sell them though if you're if they're of your granny and your pa, Kathy. Kathy's commenting over from Facebook, so you guys can't see what she's writing. I can. Yeah, it could be our ancestors. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. And those were a dollar each. Um, all right. Somebody might want this. Are you ready? Now we're at a church sale. Now we're at a church sale. This is probably one of the coolest things I found today. This is a macrame owl. Hey, buddy. Are you coming to join us? Um, I tried to wake Daddy up. You tried to wake Daddy up? Yeah. Is he up? Yeah, Mom. Okay. We was playing in the bed. <laughs> you and Daddy were playing in the bed after your nap? Yeah. Okay. Um, for the photos, I would do like 10 each or all five for 40. It looks like a bait. I th it's an owl. I swear it's an owl. The long macrame owl. Um, yes. Chris, the one I careened off the road. I almost like ran off the road. I'm like, church sale. Um, yeah. You can let pig inside with us. That's fine. Um, Renee, I keyword them and price them high. And I think perceived value is a very, very real thing. Oh, yeah, a planner at the bottom, Lorraine, or Wendy, you're right. So you could put a plan at the bottom, an owl planner. Yeah. Yes, sir. No, Pig does not know what all this stuff is. All right, Mr. Richard sent you a dolphin. You want to come see? You want to come see? Yeah. Okay. Here you go. Here's a dolphin for Dalton from Richard. Thank you. Super Super. It's funny. It's very funny. Yeah, just a little bit. Just a little uh -huh. bit. Um, that cat is a boy, and his name is Pig from the Minions. Pig is his name. He's loving all over all of my Disney. Him and Dalton and Daddy both took a nap. Okay. This is from the church sale. I like this. I like this. Look at this one. And this is like porcelain. The owl is. 
and it's signed somewhere there. He didn't scratch you. And so, this on the back says handcrafted by Brenda Memphis, Tennessee. The cool thing, look, the hanger is a tab. Like an old Coke tab. Really, really cool. Um, There's none on the counter. There's some on the desk. He does occasionally jump on the shipping counter. No, I don't know. You don't know? I don't know why he picks up, um, up there all the time. I don't know why he jumps up there all the time either. Yeah, probably 70s would be my guess on that owl. And then this is really cute vintage cross stitch that says love you. Really, really cute. These were all at the church sale. And then there's another one. This one says a house is made of walls and beams. A home is built with love and dreams. And you guys know I love the vintage cross stitch. This is really cool. This one says De La Madeline. Ayala De La Madeline. And look at its footprints in the sand. It's like a pencil holder. Really cool. I hear you calling a pig. Oh gosh, my Margaret, I'm so sorry. I hope you feel better soon. Dalton's trying to get pig from behind me. Yeah, he's talking much, much better lately. I hear you screaming at pig to look at you. Pig! And then look at this one. I think this is a dog. And the cool thing about these, and I was telling Chris, because Chris and I were on the phone. Um, this looks like Petty Point 2. So this one was done in 84. And the lady that was checking me out at the church sale said that she is who made them. So I think it's so cool to actually meet the people who make these. This Dalton says this is not a dog. What do you think it is, buddy? I don't know. You don't know, but it's not a dog. Okay. Nishana saying a horse. I can't. I, it's whatever it is. It's weird, but it's really cute. It would be really cute for a kid's room. Very cool. It is very cool. I agree. You like it? Yeah. And then a gingerbread man. This. this is a gingerbread man. Oh, that's a stool? Yeah, it is cool. I like it. I like oh, it too. Look at those balloons. You like that one? Yeah. Is oh. that one your favorite? Yeah. Dalton says this next one is his favorite. This is a really cute mouse with balloons. Same lady, same year, all 1984. Mom, I like that mouse holding those balloons. You do like the mouse holding the balloons? Yeah. The frame, yeah, the frames are probably from 1984 too. I'll sell them just how they are. They're really cool. Mom, A gingerbread girl. All right. This is probably the best find from the church sale. So Mama, I got this for $2. So this is a Harry Carey commemorative statue. And there are two listed and seven sold. So they're listed at like sixty to eighty dollars, and I paid two dollars, two bucks. 
Yeah, Tiffany, where where in Florida are you coming to? This one's a really cool piece. Really, really cool. I didn't take it out to make sure it wasn't damaged. Like, it's still in the styrofoam in here. I don't think it was ever out. Huh? I don't know people. You would like to show the people that one? Yeah. Okay, you may show the people that one. How much for what, Miss Sandy? Jake won't scratch you, buddy. He's not mad at you. All right, come show. Dalton has something he would like to come show you. Oh, it's upside down. Tell him that's a. This one is cool. This one says the Buzza Company Craft Acres, Minneapolis, USA. This is a silhouette. It. You do like it? Yeah, so do. It is so cool. Yeah, much. It is very much cool. <laughs> All right. Whoa. Let's see. Uh -oh. Okay. I think I'm gonna list these. I might use these. Um. Oh, the. The Harry Carry, I would probably do 35 to one of you. It'll definitely sell for 50 to 60 on eBay. So these are brand new. Like Mead Five Star. I think they're older ones, but they were free at the church sale. They were free. So I got two of them. Maybe I could like store receipts or something in them. I don't know, but they're 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 nice. And then I got this M&M's hat. This was also free. All of their hats there were free. But I showed restraint and only got this one M&M's hat. Um, Tiffany, I didn't see where you said you were going. Key Largo. Oh, you're going way south. I'm in very north Florida. And then... This one is from 1976. Susie Zoo. You can see there at the bottom, Susie Zoo, home cooked is best. And it is a cast iron and tile trivet. <laughs> You're waving around, Mommy. What what kind of animal is this? I don't know. What is that? What kind do you think it is? A duck? Uh, a duck? I think it is a duck. Maybe it's a chick. I'm not sure. No, the, it's, it's dated 1976. Oh, wow, Mama. That is cool. Mama, that is cool. That is cool? Yeah. Mama, I don't know what to that. That that's to set pots on. Oh, mom! I already know how to do them. You are. We already showed it. Hold on. We're gonna show them stuff in that bag. Okay. There's more linens. I got linens at the church sale mom, too. Did you already show them this one? Yeah, I did already show them that one. That one and is. That one. I showed them all of those. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, this one. Um, I are you ready? Yeah, Mom. I love this, and it was five dollars. Check this out. This is on silk. So cool. Five bucks. 
and it has like this bamboo frame. This one's old. Old, old, old. You see it? Yeah, Mom. It's very cool. It's very cool. It is cool. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> mama. Silly mama. Okay. Let's Mom, I don't hold on. Let's do. Let's show them the Disney ones in the boxes. Oh, I already. Here, hand me that cord. No, these are really super expensive. So, mommy has to show them. So, like, this one has the certificate of authenticity. Oh, Mom, and it does have a light bulb. It does have a light bulb. Um, I already know what you did. No, it, it, I'm going to show them this. Hold on. Oh. We have to be super careful. Super careful. Okay, you can help hold it up. So, this one is Tickers... Spooky pounce and pad. Oh, wow, mom, I already need it. And I already need this in there. I think, look, look in there. I think there's a ticker in there. Okay. And then this one, let's see. This is lot number 194. Um, yeah, mom, there is. This one I paid 55 for. And this one should sell for about 200 You may show them the, the ticker if you would like. Here, would you like to take it out and show them? Yeah. They said the, Oh, they're a bird. That, no, that's a ghost. I don't know if I dare Here. say ghost. These are breakable, okay? Be super careful. Mommy, Andy. You very empty. Okay, show them to them. Show it to the camera. See, there's a ticker. A ticker. A ticker. I like him. You like him. Okay, let's put this one back. We have to be super careful. Hold um, on. Are you being for their school business? You will be super careful. Yeah. Okay, he has to go back in the hole in the styrofoam. In there? Yep, in there. Very carefully here. So yeah, this one's really cool. And this one has the certificate of authenticity and the cord and the light. Oh, there we go. Let's put the cord. And then we have this needs to go with it. Oh, Mom, you almost stuck. Oh, yeah. I almost got your head. Yeah, Mom. The cord won't fit in with the styrofoam. So the. <laughs> Mama, that's a little bit funny. It's a little bit funny. Yeah. Um, bye, Chris. The. Having this original styrofoam is going to be like monumentally helpful to shipping these. I did almost get your head again. Okay. This one, I bet you guys will like. Yep. Let mommy see how much we paid for this one. We paid $55 for this one. And it. That's cool that we paid fifty five. Mom, I don't All right. know what you did. I will be very dark. It, it's super heavy. Mom, I when we get something you can show, I will let you show. This is the nightmare before Christmas. Oh wow, mom. Wow. Really cool piece. Mom, I want to need them all. All them, mom. And this one, I just had it up and now I forgot already. Mom, I already 
This one I paid 55 and it should sell for about 240. Hold on, we gotta put this in very carefully. So, Jeremy, there's a really cool thing um, that I've started using. It's called Instapack. It's from um, American Bubble Boy carries it. And it conforms to these figurines. So, when you've got the profit in there, it absolutely pays for it. And it forms around them in the box specifically to the figurines. It's called Instapack. Okay, let's see what else we have. Let's move this. Mom, I have to take one over you. And then this one. The, the, the Nightmare Before Christmas should sell for about $240. Unless, uh, um, Mary, if you're asking what I would sell it to you guys for, I would sell it. Let me see. What, let me see. I would sell the Nightmare Before Christmas for one fifty if any of you wanted it. The Nightmare Before Christmas. Hold on. Be very careful. This one. What is that? My mother that. It's a house. I'm not going to take this out. I don't think. This one is Goofy's house. Oh, See it on the camera? And Goofy's over on the other side. Hello, Rob. So this one is... Um, here, Mom. I guess Mommy can take it out. Hold on. Okay. Here is Goofy's house. Yeah, Instapack is money. Look at Goofy there. See him? So, this one is in the original foam. Mama, I don't know why it's doing down with With the cord as well. And the goofy one, let me see. I think that was one. Let me find it. Do, 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 do. Uh, goofy, I paid 84 and Goofy should sell for about 250 Okay. Yeah, people like him. Um. He's not going to pop you, buddy. All right. This one is a Jim Shore piece. Yeah. Kathy's saying I can highlight this where you guys can see, but she bought the big amber um, chandelier for me. And I used Instapack to pack that. And um, she's saying it came perfect. And it was like a giant amber um, chandelier. All right, this is Jim Shore. This is, actually, I think this is the only Jim Shore piece that I won. And it is in the box, so. Hold on, I got to get it out of the box. Mommy's trying. Okay. It's a little heavy. Oh, this is a pretty wow. cool one. Wow. Yeah, this one's pretty cool, huh? No, that isn't it. Check that out. Any. There is not any candy in there. Sorry. You get Instapack from American oh, Bubble I Boy. Need that one. This one. Oh. Hey, Terry. We just had a chain. Nine dollars. All right. Let's see. 
what we paid for this one. Do, 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 do. Why you to say that? Mommy's trying to find this one on our list. Um, <laughs> where is it? There it is. I paid sixty five for this one, and this one should sell for about one fifty. Really cool piece. Um. I would do it for 120, Miss Kathy. This is a really awesome piece. Still has the original sticker. 2006. I will list it now, Jeremy. I will list it now. If Miss Kathy doesn't get it. All right, still in the original foam. Okay, you can try and let Pig out. He doesn't look like he's wanting to go out, though. Woo! Okay. And this one's cool because it still has the... Come behind him. Pig. Go. Dalton knows when Pig's about to pop him. And, um... Pig is about to pop him. So there's the original box on this one. Pretty cool. Pig. He's ignoring. Do you see? He's not like, he's like, whatever. He is ignoring you. I agree. And he's still doing so well. Out. Out. Out, Pig. Pig, go. He's ignoring me too. Out, big. Out. 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 All right, hold on. I'm going to hide the camera so you guys don't get flashed by my butt. Out, and I'm going to shoo the cat out for Dalton. All right, pig, go. Okay. And I can go ahead and grab these linens. And show you guys these linens. And then we've got three more Disney pieces. Let me move one closer while you're not getting flashed with my butt. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Let's do. We have to show them. my daddy them. They can't see you either right now. We're going to do it in just a minute. You see me. Yeah. Okay. Here. Now you can see both of us. All right. Hey, look. Let you want a hug? Okay. I love you. <laughs> All right. Let's show them the linens. Can you look in here? Let's show them some linens. Mm -hmm. So... More linens. These are from the church. Oh, Mom, I already know them. Can you hold, help me hold them? Yeah. These are butterfly placemats. Butterflies? Yep, butterflies. And there are four of these. These are really cool. Yeah, Mom, there are much butterflies. There are much butterflies. Yeah, Mom, they very do. They are very cool. What colors are they? Um, red. What else? Blue. Very good. What else? Red and blue. Red and blue. Yes. Oh, oh, mom, look. <laughs> what color is that one? Um, I don't know. You do know that oh, color. Oh, red. And what's that color? Um, I don't know. You do know that color. Oh, there's some more red. A little bit. <laughs> um, Renee, for these I would do twenty for the four. These are really cool. And I think they were handmade. Back in now. If you see. They're not hand stitched, but they're handmade. Bye, Miss Diane. Put it back in. Yeah. 
Let's put it back in. Let's see what else we have. Can you get something else out? Yeah. Oh, I already know this one. You them now. Okay. Um, Renee's over on <laughs> Facebook, Miss Sandy. Renee's Renee saying she'll take the it. butterfly placemats for 20 Okay. Dalton, here you got to show them what's on it. This is like a laundry sack or something. But look, it's got... I always confuse these, guys. Who is this? I don't is this Holly Hobby? I always confuse Holly Hobby and somebody else. I can't remember her name. Mom, I don't know her name either. You don't remember her name either? Mommy confuses Holly Hobby and there's somebody else. Sandy's saying it is Holly Hobby. Really cool, though. Like, oh, it's just a sack. I Okay, get something else out. Yeah, Mom. Mm. Oh, take this out. Oh, these are really cool napkins. Yeah, Mom. Very much so. Look at these. Mom, I'm looking. I want to oh, show them up is. close so they can see the cross stitching. Mom, I'm looking. Um, Sunbonnet Sue. I'm Thank you, Sherry. Them. Uh, Sandy, it was four butterfly placemats for $20 for Renee Dodd. They're very cool. They are very cool. They're very nice. These are all hand-stitched. It's a lot of work. Look at that. <laughs> Mom, that's funny. Yeah, Mom, these are really pretty. Mom, where do you want to put this? We're going to, we're going to, well, we'll put these in that box for Miss Renee. Okay, get something else out. There's only two, Miss Gritty Gret. There's only two of these. I'm doing the big one. I would do these two for 10. Mom, I am doing the big one. I would probably list them for 30 or more. The big Yay, Richard. Hey, Zahira. I don't know which one I'm doing to pick. Okay, pick one. Mm. Oh, I want oh, to do this one. Dude. Um, For Holly Hobby, I'd like to get 10. So these are little teacups oh, that hold oh, tea bags. Yard. Wow, Mom. It's a yard. <laughs> Mom, it's a yard. It's okay, Jingle Meow. I would like to get Mama 10 for Holly yard. Hobby. Mama say yard. Okay, so Rose Rose is saying, um, Miss Sandy, Rose Rose Mama, wants the want cross stitch two napkins Mama, for 10 plus shipping. Just make sure if you guys Mama, get anything, please email me. Okay, let's see. get me something else here. These are really cool. These are definitely retro. Can you show them those napkins? Yeah. Show them the napkins. Just hold them up. No, I don't seem to look like that or they need it. Yes, Jeremy. The, yeah, they're little like teacups crocheted around that hold little tea tea bags. Uh yeah, Jingle Meow, I can show you the the Holly Hobby one. Or sunbonnet oh, too. We're not sure which. It's a pretty big bag with the the balloon. It's probably like eighteen inches by I sixteen inches. I don't know where I will put this one. Um. Well, somebody's getting these, so put these in the box. But oh, let me show them these again. Here, put that. Just oh, the napkins in the box. Thank you, you sir. That? Yeah, oh, just that. Yeah. Look at the print on these. These are like seriously retro. Yeah, very serious. Very serious. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mom, and they very do. Mom, okay, like what's to... next? Um, oh, I have to do this one now. Okay. Yeah, Mom. Thank you, sir. This is, I believe, two napkins that are embroidered. Oh, wow, Mom. They thought that was. Wow. Not the bag. The, I don't think there was another Holly Hobby print. I think. Um, I think so. Yes, so. It, they are the same colors as those pillowcases. Oh, Mom, look. 
I, I know, I dropped them. <laughs> Um, you. I don't think you can get this out. Mommy will have to get it. Guys, this is a hand-stitched quilt. I will show you. And you can tell because they are uneven. Can you see the stitching? No, I think there's some more stuff in there. So, this is hand-stitched quilt. Yeah, Mama, that is. It's very old. Um, there is some more. There is some more. And then we still have three uh, Disney ones to show them. This is a really big quilt. And it is hand stitched. Um, where do you put it? Wow, Mom. That's a very, very dark thing. It is a very cool one. I agree. Yeah, Mom. It's a bigger one. Wow. I think this is like the maple leaf. Um... It does have wear. This is a really old quilt. Um, I just ship them in polys. I don't vacuum them. I just put them in polys. If somebody... This has got a lot of wear. This is a really... It's probably close to being antique, I would guess. Um, early 1900s. It's all hand-stitched. If somebody wanted to make me an offer on this oh, i would so consider it them both. it's probably you're you're showing them those nice napkins yeah oh, i'm not on this side no just on the one side mommy will hold it and show them um, it's very good. these are nice yeah mom very nice i just put it up here oh i don't need oh. okay What's next? Oh, oh these are nice me. too. Mom, me. Mom, these are the me. petite point as or petty point as well. Wow, mom. It's very dope. There are four cloth napkins. Yeah, mom. Very they very much cool. They are very much cool. Okay, what's next? I don't know. Oh, more teacups? There you are, Doma. Thank you, and sir. Here's one for me. Yep. Okay, show them yours. Mom, I don't, Mom, I don't know why it's not doing this. So. Yes, he is a very good helper. Jingle me out. So I'm not doing an auction, but I will take, um, I will... Tell me what your offer is on the quilt. So we kind of, we will sell, but we're not doing an auction. I do have an auction um, coming up on Wednesday with Yvonne Thrifty Rich. Rebecca said that you are very much cool and that yeah, you're, Mom. and that you're very cute. Mom, this, is, this is very cool. It is very cool. Yeah. And it. Uh, Polly is just a plastic what? bag, Blockhead Arts. Just like a plastic thick yeah. bag. Do we, where do you want to put this? Let me see what else we have. Oh, yeah. this I think where is a Native American basket. It? Check yeah. this out. Where do you want to put this? Um, where do you want to put this? Um, here, put it with these other ones. A white? And you can put it in the box, I guess. Oh, in there? Yeah. A white? Here, let's put these in there. Oh, thanks. Uh, jingle meow, I'm not going to sell the quilt for five. I If I list that quilt, I'll probably list it for 150 So that's way lower than I would um, do. There are more? Is there a more? No? No, we got to show them the Disney stuff. We got three more things, guys, and then we're done. Three yeah. more. This one, here, can you put this basket in there? Um, not yet. Not yet, no. Kima okay. for the Native American basket. Some sell for good money. 
Yeah, be very, very careful, buddy. That one's super expensive. Did we already do this one? No, this one's yours, pumpkin patch. Most of my quilts go for over a hundred um, that I find. Whoa. Whoa. This Whoa. one is really cool. This one will match that other one. So this one's Eeyore's house though. Eeyore's pumpkin patch. Mama, do you know what this is that? Really cool. And this one has the original styrofoam. styrofoam. Um, this one's Hawthorne Village. Do you want to know what this is? Yes, that's an inhaler. Oh, Mom, what does this do? It's, it's for big people. Yeah, this one lights up. And that one, let me find it so I can tell you guys. Um, do 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 do. Mom, I already know them. I got this one. No, that's not to show them. But mom. No, the Hawthorne Village, the Eeyore's Pumpkin Patch. I paid fifty five, and that one should go for one fifty. Batteries in there. That one doesn't need batteries. Okay, this one is Chippendale's Treehouse. Why, Mom? Let's see if we can... I don't know why it don't work. I don't know why it don't work. This one's really cool. This one... Also has the light and cord. I have one. Oh, no, buddy. No. Let mommy see. That's not for kids. Mom. Hey, Ken. Mom. This one, let's see. Hey. Let's see if we can find it. Hey. You like this one? Yeah. This one I paid 75 and this one will sell for 200 Whoa. Oh, there's Chippendale <laughs> on the porch. Oh, wow, well, Mom. You I, like that one? I want in here. Uh, they're right there. See them? Oh. <laughs> they very funny. I don't know why they got out. Why they got out of their tree house? I don't know. You don't oh. know why they got out of their tree house? Yeah, Mom. I don't know why. Mom, I like you like that you. Um, I like you, like the you. You like my light video? Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out which way to stream those. Aha! We figured it out. We got one more to show them, and then we're going to let them go. Yeah, Mom. Whoa! 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 Me? Okay. Mm. Hold on, let Mommy get it out. Mom, you I almost dumped you. Yeah, you were throwing Oh, whoa. Whoa. You almost did dump me. I almost did dump you. Yeah, almost. All right. Whoa. This is the last one. Yeah, Mom. This one is a haunted. Thank you, Brigida. Let's find this haunted one. And then Miss Brigida did give us a super chat. So we'll give you a oh, dolphin. Wow, Mom, look. I know. We got to fix this one. This one's a little broken. Yeah, Mom. We got to glue it back together. Yeah, Mom. It's a little um, bit broke. This one I paid 100 for, and it should sell for about 400 
it's a haunted I mansion. I got you? Yeah, oh, you gosh. and me, Mama. Oh, Mom, I done it. Night, Jingle Meow. All right, look, Miss Brigida gave you a dolphin. Oh, you want to watch your dolphin? Yeah. Okay. Say thank you. Tell her thank you. Thank you. All right, perfect. Let's give you your dolphin. Dun, dun. Super Chat. He's trying to get the dolphin. Say thank you. Um, Jessica, these are a mix. So, like this piece, hold on. Let mommy uh -huh. see. Let mommy see. Mom, it's off a empty this thing. one is Disney Mom, Parks. Mom, and it's the, off a empty thing. It does. Let mommy sit it back in the box and then we'll tell them about them. <laughs> Wow, Mom. I don't know what that's you, Mom. I don't know what that's you. Okay. So, I don't know what some of these are Disney Parks Direct. Mom, I don't know what that's you. It goes around and around. So, some are Disney Park Directs, and then there's the Jim Shore. There's also, like, all of the little ones are Harmony Kingdom. And, um, I don't know what this that. And then the rest are, um, Walt oh. Disney Classic Collections. So there's probably like five different makers within all of the different Disney ones. And I uh, did, I again, I got 21 pieces, um, of Disney for it? just under $3,000. No, I mean, you and I rework no, it. No, that doesn't, that's not one you spin by yourself. That one plugs in. Yeah, there's there's 21 total pieces. We paid three thousand, and they should sell for seven to eight thousand. Yeah, so cool. it's not my normal return, but a lot of these are very rare, and I will oh, have the only mom, one listed. You fix it. All right, it is getting late. We still have 301 people watching, so thank you all so much for hanging out with us tonight. I'm glad Dalton got to come in for a little while and hang out with you guys tomorrow night at 7 p.m. So for those of you that are members, I am doing the sourcing live at 7 p.m. because I've somehow got on the wrong weekend. I work on Sunday, so I'm not going to be able to stay up late doing the members only sourcing live. Um, and tomorrow my plan is to get all of these Disney Welcome. listed. There are only 21. It should be pretty Welcome. easy. I see that styrofoam. Do you want to tell them goodbye and um, give them a blow kiss? Um, you got to look at the camera. Say bye. Say thank you. Thank you. Give them blow kiss.